And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. This is looking threatening. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. Not the best clearance. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Antonio Hudiga plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today will likely be Romelu Lukaku. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Pulisic and teammates to play it to Jorginho Mount Lukaku in position free kick awarded then by the referee Can he make it 1-0? Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So United restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with an equaliser? Cristiano Ronaldo. Scott McTominay. And well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Fred. Making sure it didn't get past him. United trailing, maybe the corner will help the cause. And taken short. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. The short option preferred. Ronaldo is at the far post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Jorginho. Romelu Lukaku now. Marcos Alonso. Marcus Alonso 
Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. And this again, the goal that was scored from the spot. Short corner favoured. And that is how to block. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Giving it a try. And using his body to good effect. Bruno Fernandes. Scott McTominay. United might be able to cash in. And you don't want to lose possession there. That's Pili Quetta. He's in control of the situation. And he's keen on cutting in. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. So, 2-0 now. Fred. Bruno Fernandes has it. Here is Fred. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Jaden Sancho. Diogo Dallo. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Jaden Sancho. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, how often do we say this? Cristiano Ronaldo has struggled to get into the game, not really making much of an impact, Stuart. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. So the ball rolling again and no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between the sides and the first. Half. Will we see a response in the second 45 from United? Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Fred. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Rudiger. The ball with Marcos Alonso. Jorginho. Conte. And keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. And showing fine vision. Now really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Well, strong play here. Top class defending. And into the last 30 minutes now. 
Jaden Sancho. Diogo Dalot on the ball. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do from this excellent position? Efficient play to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to get there. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Here's a change for Manchester United. And this to reduce the deficit. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Dispossessed there. Tremendous piece of tackling. Free kick to Chelsea. Mount and Christensen Ziyech and somehow kept out by De Gea Going short, and a good-looking ball. Into the final 20 minutes. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Jaden Sancho. United might be able to cash in. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Rashford. That's the strength to hang on to it. Rashford! Full credit, wonderful stop. Well, in the closing stages, and United behind in this one, Stuart. Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game. They've just not created enough clear-cut chances. There's still time, though. They just need to get the ball into the danger area. And it's United's turn now. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. What can Chelsea do from this position? Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Crossing opportunity. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. And short it is. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. <laughs> the 
In a short corner, let's see. Well, far from the ideal pass. Well, this is building up to a nail-biting finish. These United fans are making so much noise. Can they get an equaliser here? And there's the final whistle. The grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. And a spectacular contribution from Jorginho. Such an eye-catcher today. And Stuart, I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, he certainly had an impact on the result, not least from 12 yards.